I now give the floor to Nicholas uh, Marcus Tom Secretariat. Madam Chair, it is an honor to uh, address this forum again following the first session in Geneva. My organization represents thousands of black Canadians who have faced and continue to face anti-black racism in the Federal Public Service of Canada. We have filed a landmark class action seeking billions in reparations due to anti-black discrimination, which remains rampant in all Canadian institutions. As a matter of fact, in March of this year, Canada ruled that the body that it created to protect and promote human rights, that is the Canadian Human Rights Commission, was actually discriminating against its black employees. This represents a violation of the Paris Principles and other UN treaties, which member states are required to adhere to in order to meet its international obligations. Despite over 400 years of anti-black racism in Canada, we still do not have permanent structures to combat this oppression. While other equity-deserving groups advance, people of African descent continue to face significant oppression in Canada with the state playing a major role as the oppressor. As part of global reparatory justice, Canada and other member states must create permanent structures such as ministries of African affairs, black equity commissioners, and employment equity legislation that define people of African descent as a distinct category. It is time that people of African descent are recognized as a unique category. There also needs to be more UN oversight to address issues of institutional racism with member states. And this oversight should also apply to this UN body itself. Finally, as part of reparatory justice, Canada and other member states should adopt a conciliatory approach towards litigation brought by people of African descent seeking reparations for anti-black racism and discrimination. Thank you.